afternoon. Uh, my name is Ian Domowitz. Uh, I'm a managing director of uh, ITG and the CEO of ITG Solutions Network, uh, which is one of our subsidiaries uh, devoted totally to uh, trading analytics. Market fragmentation as a contributor to the big data problem to me is a fascinating thing because when you think about big data, uh, there are really a few aspects to it. There's the volume of the data, there's the variety of the data, and there's the velocity of the data. In other words, big data is not one dimensional, if you like. So on the one hand, you can think about the historical data that, of which I spoke earlier uh, as being an extremely large data set in the big data sense, but there is zero velocity. So the issue is largely how do you extract information? In other words, what analytics can be produced or derived from that data uh, in such a way as to, let's say, uh, get away from the blizzard of numbers, all right? And reduce things to concepts that actually people will understand in the first place. Now, as you move into the notion of using TCA to make real-time decisions, now the variety of data and the velocity of data come into play because the velocity is getting faster and faster all the time. Think of the controversy around high-frequency trading. And the variety of data, all right, is expanding. So that, that's in terms of orders that are being placed, strategies that are being uh, attempted, uh, order types on the exchanges. In other words, the variety itself is expanding. So one way we actually look at this is to combine uh, actionable TCA analysis with a managed financial network. So in other words, those are actually built, designed, and operate in such a way as to handle the variety problem and the velocity problem. From that, we then marry what we've learned uh, about the volume problem, right, the so-called big data problem, to derive these analytics in at least quasi real time uh, and present them back to the decision makers. So this is, this is a complex issue that uh, frankly is evolving every day. And uh, you know, the finance industry as a whole, I think, still has a lot, of, lot to learn from, say, the Googles of this world.